All right, guys, what is up? It is your boy here, Mr. Sly Ninja. So I'm actually in a hotel room right now. That's why the scenery looks different. But we are here today to talk about or get the update on that Oculus that I recently purchased. I'm actually, since I am in a hotel, I did have a travel bag for it. Um, Oculus was super easy to kind of store in this travel bag, um, especially made for VR. Uh, so I was able to travel with it. I'm actually playing it. I have it set up right behind me. Uh, I was playing a couple matches of Unspoken. Uh, I also tried out Rip Coil. Uh, that's actually a really cool, trippy game um, as well. But all the low down on it, uh, the controllers are amazing. Headset's amazing. They're both incredibly lightweight. Um, little to no weight whatsoever. Um, you do have that sudden urge kind of as if you were playing like a Wii where you could possibly chuck it. So the straps are kind of a necessity. Um, another kink that I found with the headset, um, or not really a kink, but it does take your um, vision into consideration. Um, it was kind of blurry for me. Uh, I normally wear glasses, and when I was using the Oculus, it was kind of blurry when I was playing. Um, so when I threw glasses underneath, which it happened to fit, because not all the frames will fit underneath the helmet, um, I was able to see a whole lot better. I can actually distinguish details, read a lot more of the text, everything came a lot clearer. So distance in the game um, essentially does make kind of a difference um, and it does take your vision into consideration. Uh, so if you have to wear glasses, there's a possibility if it seems blurry, put your glasses on, um, slip it underneath. It gets a little bit of uncomfortable, you'll get used to it, but you'll make everything a whole lot better. Um, other than that, uh, we're also going to be throwing in some amazing gameplay today from the game Unspoken. Um, like I said before, I was going to be doing a little bit more uh, gameplay and hopefully streaming at some point. But I'm going to be trying to play in-depthly Unspoken so then I can actually do the, the next or um, not necessarily the next, but the upcoming tournaments for since it's an incredibly fresh game. But I'm going to have some gameplay for that today. And um, yeah, so let's hop into that. Uh, kind of show you guys what the controllers are like as well after the gameplay. Um, but you guys will see kind of like my understanding of like how the controllers are super slim, they're super light. Um, the size of them is just for the movement is completely perfect. Uh, I had a couple questions about the Vive. The Vive's controllers are a little bit different from how the Oculus are, they're a little bit bigger. For the most part same thing with the headset it's a little bit bigger but the vibe does do full body motion um while the oculus you would essentially need a third sensor um which i don't currently have you have to actually purchase the third sensor uh through oculus for that matter but anyways let's get into this gameplay all right guys so we are currently in the menu of unspoken i was gonna actually try giving you guys like the full uh, experience actually being on the menu um, unfortunately as I was going through I couldn't figure out how to get that setting in just yet into uh, recording but as you can see I'm in the main menu right now for the unspoken and we're gonna get into it right now so you can see you can see my hands uh, not really my hands but you can see that I have uh, selected I already had um, all my settings situated so Oh, you didn't have to go through the beginning. You guys can actually catch another YouTuber that happened to have done the beginning. Um, so as you can see, this is uh, my little hangout, my little raven over there. Um, but yeah, so as you can see, full complete control over a whole ton of this right now. So let's gonna head over to this map table. Um, you guys want a little bit of lowdown of throughout the game. So over here. Uh, it's my curio cabinet is where I can uh, adjust my mage my uh, character um, Change who I want to be as well as have the options of um, having some special abilities Spells uh, to my disposal as well. So as you can see here, I have a book the clockwork imp I can actually pick this up and actually open it Just like that you can actually point, see? Fun little feature. And this is unlock a mischievous imp that steals spell shards. So we're gonna jump into that. I'm not gonna do like a full explanation on how 
um, the mechanics or what exactly how this game is gonna work um, it's kind of just gonna be an all-out gameplay um, if you guys want a tutorial just let me know and so we can get you guys that tutorial as well I can actually run through the tutorial uh, for you guys as a separate gameplay video but as you can see this I have this anarchist uh, anarchist class um, we also have the blackjack and then the kineticist class I don't have drifter though um, and I still got a couple things to unlock but um, as for that let's just get into the gameplay that's what I was saying I was gonna do so I'm gonna get you guys that gameplay all right so I don't know how long it's gonna f take to find another for to find a game about 19 seconds but I'm gonna do a solo instead I haven't really completely mastered the game yet in order to do things like that um, or to do ranked as you can see I did ranked um, earlier I'm ranked 483 um, in the world so at 136 but look at all those points man Whew. those are up there so we're gonna go up against the bot uh, for right now and as you can see um, with my middle finger on the controller which I'll show you guys in a little while after this gameplay I can pretty much grab these orbs place them in then I can select the map I want so I'm gonna do random so you guys can get a random feel for that as well so we're gonna be jumping into a match right now Lenore is kind of like a little my little buddy uh, my fighting partner that's in here kind of like I get to spar with you can see here. You can see here I can activate spells. With these gestures I'm actually going in and actually physically moving throughout these the entire time doing these gestures Every time I pick up one of these stones, it allows me to do an ability. So, it looks pretty simple, but when you start going up against human human uh, contact, it's a whole nother story. Begin. Basically, as if you're Doctor Strange right now. Ooh. Like I was saying, you can summon different abilities. I'll find out where he went, he's right over here. I can actually have directional control as well. Um, my throws on that rate are not too on spot with those curves just yet, but I'm working on it. I can throw up my barrier right there. I can do. Ah, you gotta learn how to control it too a little bit. Let me get behind my barrier right here. Ah. Let's do a summon real quick.
take the high ground. So as you can see, the controllers, you know, you get the complete mobility, you kind of get that option. You get to unlock new things as well. So the thing about this is that there isn't necessarily a campaign through this game. It's us it's more of like a dual multiplayer, leveling up, kind of do it on your own type of thing. Um, there are different types of mages so the different mages come with different abilities uh, so that was, was the mage that I use as the anarchist I'm trying to master the other two um, it's gonna take a little bit of time though got to do it little by little but as for the gameplay you know that's what it was um, you can you can see here complete mobility complete control um, so let's switch over to uh, the regular view all right guys so we are back regular camera view we aren't in the game or the vr anymore um so i was going to show you guys how these nunchucks actually work so as you guys can see they're pretty small you can kind of see they're really lightweight um they do come with the straps but like i was saying these triggers they're pretty easy to use they're pretty nimble um, like I was thinking about the headset too, by the way, I wanted to show you guys is that, like, I even have my pair of glasses. They're actually s kind of snugged in here. Um, so they're kind of up against, not necessarily up against the glass, but they kind of lock in on the outer side of the frame. So you guys can kind of see how that works. Um, so yeah, I was wearing my glasses during that. That's why you kind of see like the smashed, um, nerf part thingy. I don't know what it's called. Um, but yeah, so that's gameplay. Uh, sorry it's not a multiplayer gameplay. I'll probably bring up another video once I get um, all that situated. Uh, I'll probably, that'll be my next video. It's going to be like a ranked gameplay against real people. Um, still trying to get better at the game, so I didn't want to get completely obliterated again. Um, I've won like maybe two games out of like four. Uh, but it takes a little bit of time to find the games just because... There's not too many people that own an Oculus, which is why I'm doing this video. It's actually pretty cool. Uh, but yeah, so it, it like you guys saw, I was able to do all those hand gestures or those gestures throughout the game just by using executing with the triggers, um, and I was able to do, literally do the hand gestures of basically, you know, throughout the game. Um, what I like about these is that if you notice how my the size of my hand and then the size of these touch controllers literally I can get pretty close up um, without worrying about hitting anything without hitting the controllers against each other I have done it a couple times um, just because when you get so into the game but that will be it for this video guys um, if you guys have any questions please comment rate subscribe put them in the bottom and I'll be feel free to answer them all um, other than that, thank you guys for tuning in. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Again, we're going to get you guys some actual player-on-player uh, player gameplay um, in those ranked matches. Um, my next video, most definitely. If you guys want to see any other games like Robo Recall, Rip Coil, um, you know, even some of those arts game, or, uh, art games where you get to sculpt, or even Minecraft. Um, they actually have Minecraft on here for free. If you guys want to check those out, please let me know. Um, I'll feel free to do a video, gameplay video of those. Uh, so you guys can kind of get an idea of what it's like um, in the Oculus experience doing all of those. But other than that, thank you guys for tuning in. You guys have been, you guys are amazing. And comment, rate, subscribe, all that good stuff. And YouTube, later gamings.